If you were to give me Pedri and Bellingham on the same team and a DM, like Declan Rice. Yeah. Yeah. Declan, Declan, Declan Rice. Rice. Bro. He's Roger or something. Yeah. He's, he's good going like forward as too as a DM. To good at long shots, good at passing, doesn't you, make mistakes. Nah, Bellingham, you waffling, man. man said Bellingham and Pedri. And then and another said youngster. A DM like, like Declan Rice. Like Dick and Rice. Who's Bellingham's <laughs> partner? Yo, what's up, guys? And welcome back to Lads Footy Show. I'm your host, Keeks. Here are my co-hosts. It's your boy, Hera. Viejo. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that bullshit again. Welcome, welcome ah, back. We're here with the Bernafeo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. If we're you here guys, with the Bernafeo, a.k.a. Lego. Why the fuck broken. are you keep touching it's that shit? Broken. <laughs> you keep touching it. I see you it's every broken. fucking video. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, boys, today we have a great banging video for you guys. If you guys weren't aware, on our Instagram stories, we asked you guys to give us some hot takes, some questions, anything you guys want us to ask. Yeah. So this is a Q&A style video yes. coming today. And before we get started, make sure to get your kids to FPT Sports. Mm. Use code LADSFOOTY. Germany. Milan. Milan. Never wears a jersey. Graceland. All these jerseys in the back right Drift. here. Graceland University. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this, this video is mostly based off you guys. You guys yeah. provided us with the questions and the hot takes. So today, this is just simply... Yeah, and like we said, you're gonna get mentioned here. So every question we bring up, we'll say the person that, that asked it. So we'll get straight into it. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's a lot of yes. options we got here. So I gotta, I gotta summarize these. Or, all right, let's see. Give us a good one to start. All right, this is started off. I think it's perfect timing since Chibots are pretty much in the mud right now. Oh, never mind. Go do another. <laughs> so one of them is. Is JJ Macias the missing piece in this Chivas squad right now? No. Because... Damn. He still plays? We have an issue creating chances. JJ Macias isn't going to be there to finish chances if we can't even create any chances. But I think we need a squad wipe. I'm being for real. Piojo needs to stay. Pocho needs to stay. Chiquete needs to stay. Vega, out. All no. the youngsters can stay. But all players who are watched... I, did, I disagree with you. Out. You guys do need a squad wipe? But Piojo, so Chiquete, Vega, those guys need to leave. Not no, because Piojo, Piojo no, 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 no. Piojo needs to stay. No, not because Piojo and Chiquete uh, are bad. Because you guys, you guys can sell them for a few bucks and you guys will a few though? invest that How money into this. How much does Piojo Alvarado go Bro, for? Let's be, real. Is, Let's be real. I wouldn't be so mad if Chivas were, if Chivas were to put their U18, U19, U20 team starting in the Liga every day. I wouldn't be mind. I wouldn't mind losing. Like yeah, that. even if you, yeah, you know, if you lose them, you know, the youngsters, whatever, give them the chance. This is the only way Chivas as a whole is gonna improve we're Prosper. gonna get players we're gonna spend the money they're gonna come to chivas and they're gonna play like shit they don't really feel the badge what it's like to wear chivas jersey so you get that to europe you get that yes yes, yes yeah yes. yeah yeah fair enough if, you vega, get, if we get an offer obviously so vega you get three million from him we should have sold vega for 18 million for like he was never going 11 million he was see. never going but yeah chivas now. chivas right now definitely need a squad wipe jj macias will definitely not be the answer because at just 24 he had two serious knee injuries and the fact that chivas fans still think macias is going to come back and do something he might score a couple goals here and then but that those injuries are too serious and those who know who are real chivas fan when jj jj macias would play he would get a lot of critics because sometimes he wouldn't perform as how he should have been so even now, coming after these two knee injuries, do we really expect too much from him? Yeah. He might get injured in the next months or whatnot, but... Yeah, and that question was from Jackson Smith. Shout out. Next one, from Gale.HDEZ. How many Ballon d'Ors does Neymar win if he'd stayed at Barca? Two. One, minimum. Two. One. Cap at two. I would, I'm going to say one, and it's that season he left. Ooh. So remember oh, that preseason that when pre he was, was when that preseason when he was God. absolutely terrorizing Juventus and all these teams. If he would have stayed at Barca that year, that could have been the year. Where that was like, the year because he went to PSG and look what he did. If he was at Barca and he did that, that's Ballon d'Or easy. That's true. That's true. Especially over Messi. I think one of those seasons Messi spent it out injured, like you know quarter. All everything would have gone through Neymar. Everything. Yep. It was so like yeah, that elbow sure. injury, I think, or something like that. But definitely, I think he should have definitely retired That's with at least two. The worst decision he's ever made to leave Barcelona. But that 17-18 mm -hmm. season, Neymar would have definitely won that Ballon d'Or. And it was leading into the World Cup. So maybe that would have yep. boosted up his yep. confidence That's and Brazil true. maybe would have had a better World Cup or something. That's true. Uh, next one. Santi Jimenez, we spoke class. We already answered that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of Chivas ones here. The, the one we said? Yeah, yeah, I said it. Okay. There's a lot of Chivas ones here, but we're getting repetitive with Chivas. 
No one gives a fuck about that. Would you take Chicharito in this selection either as a mentor or as a super sub? Yes. Uh, and you're like, yeah, why yes. not? Yes. For the vibes. I would still add him for his last, for his, like his goodbye game if we ever get Just that. Just vibes. That's it. But um, even then, like um, adding confidence to our attackers. Yes, because again, just like Chivas struggle to create chances, and Mexico struggle to create chances. Is Chicha really the mentor type? I don't no. know. He plays all the day playing. He's, fucking Call he's of good Duty. at playing speaking. Warzone all the time. Yeah. No, he's, yeah, he's good at speaking. But if you were to tell me this before he got injured, I think he's good at waffling. When he was speaking. getting consistent goals for LA Galaxy before Santi was banging, I would have even took him as a starter. Because there was a debate. Because we had no strikers had at nothing. that point. Before Santi, we had nothing. Yeah. Jimenez was out of it. I would have definitely taken taking Chicha. But right now. Nah. He tore his ACL. I don't no, think. No, no, no. Way. Chicharito. Towards the end of his career already. And it's hopefully, sad. Hopefully, I see him at Chivas. Regardless if he scores or not, I don't care. Maybe. I want him to retire in his Chivas jersey. The sad part is, is that we definitely saw him in his last game for the selection and he never got like that goodbye. goodbye. Yeah. They're probably the closest thing we'll probably get is like a charity match, which doesn't feel the same. Ah, uh, they never. But like that, that like a home get, game at the Azteca just dedicated for Chicha would have been perfect. Think Jimmy but, can give him one more. It's not about Jimmy it's Bro he has to come him. back And uh, score at least some goals Don't need him to score hard. Just want him to play One more I don't think The Federation's like that anymore <laughs> Next one Oh that one's from Eric Underscore 5 Shout out Next one from 704 Underscore Jared Santi Jimenez Is a top 5 striker In the world right now Right now mm, No No But hold on Let's let's just Spread the board With these names On who the strikers are Hold on Harry Kane, Haaland, Lewandowski. Lautaro. 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 Yes, yeah, yes, 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 yeah. yes. You guys yeah. can't deny. He has more goals from open play than all those guys. But there's Fifth? still other things that It's crazy that I want to throw Julian Alvarez in there. Julian Alvarez Julian still. Alvarez. Yeah. Julian Alvarez. Even though he doesn't play like crazy. the striker Yeah, I guess it's not City, crazy. Man. He's still a striker playing in positions where can we, strikers normally don't play. Can we say top 10? Yes. Top 10, yeah. Easily. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's crazy. Top 10. We can, Mexican yeah, striker at top 10 strikers top in the world. And we're forgetting Osimen as well, who we can't forget about Ossie what he's man. done and what he's doing. Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus. I know he's going to pick up his form. Top 10, guaranteed. For Probably sure. like that nine or 10. Yeah. Like he'll edge the nine. top 10. I think he'll edge yeah, the top 10. Eight, nine, 10 around. Yeah, yeah. But top five is kind of a stretch. That's a, that's a good question, bro. All right. Is Harry Kane better than Erling Haaland? He had 30 plus goals last season with. A less better team. I was very surprised in Harry Kane's season last season. Were you though? I was. Were you? I was. I feel like it's a regular for this guy to do this shit. No, because no, that's he actually, the most goals he scored in a season. Was, he's, that was his best season. Yeah, it and it ridiculous. went under the radar because of Haaland. I think it was also because of how sudden he started scoring too. Because he didn't, he didn't, he didn't like, he wasn't fluent the whole season either. He had a couple ducks. He wasn't, he was missing a couple chances. But like around mid season, towards the end, Holy shit, he just he just couldn't stop. And despite Haaland's 36 goals or whatnot, Kane didn't disappear in big games. Kane had those goals against Manchester. Haaland didn't have a single big game that he was vital to. Right, right. Haaland Harry did Kane disappear is, in some games, but Harry Kane performed throughout the whole season against all the teams he could have gone up against. Personal preference, if I was a manager, I personally take Harry Kane all day because Harry of what Kane more he brings. Way more than yeah. Harry Kane. I'm man. sure he had double digits in a six. Yeah, and obviously he's having a good start to Bayern, but yeah, what Erling Haaland does, we haven't seen since he's simply a goal scoring machine. Literally, he's the best goal scorer, more. but he's not the best striker. Question? Kind of. You what know? was the question? Is Harry Kane better than Haaland? Better how? Everything. Better striker? No. Better goal scorer? Yes. yes. Better footballer? Yes. Yes. Yeah, Harry Kane, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And that one was from Artie Serrano. Shout out again. Before you know. Let us know your thoughts on all these questions as well. Go ahead and, you know, like and, and comment below in the, in yeah. the description. Kane or Haaland, there's no wrong answer. Eh? Yeah. I mean, Haaland's Ballon d'Or contender. Harry Kane's never been, like, top seven, I think. But that's also due to him not winning a single trophy yeah. during his time at Spurs. Who knows? This year, if Kane, like, continues to back, he just finished scoring a hat-trick, I think. Has seven goals. And let's say Bayern wins the UCL, the league, yeah. wins the league. Harry Kane might be... I heard uh, Spurs have a, a buyback clause on him as well. I also saw that Daniel Levy, I Imagine guess. Imagine he leaves for a year when the, the strings. Back. If I was... What, without trying to like go back to uh, Santi, 
I think Santi, I perfectly see him in Spurs. Oh. I imagine him in Spurs. As hard as 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 much as I want to say, well, yeah, no fan, shit. When you have Spurs. Richarlison in there, no, man, but just like an upgrade. If you him, just man. imagine it, like he just fits perfectly in that shirt too. But it's mm, I wouldn't say that. It's just, I think it's I just see the, the system in. that Spurs currently have in their attacking form. Bernafeo, it's calling his name already. I'll be sexy. Be Next pissed. one from Aragon. Oh one. This one's a really good one. Early to call, but where do you see Mexico finishing in the next World Cup at this current <sighs> state? Getting knocked out of the group stage. In our own stadium, in our own home, in our own turf, in our own soil, getting knocked out of the group stage. Yeah, that, that, sh- that shit doesn't mean anything when your team is dreadful, bro. Our team I mean, sucks. We I mean, have look, look, how, look how much we pack out and fill out stadiums in the World Cups and, you know, they're overseas but lately, nice that thing. hasn't even been. But this is mattering. our worst side in years, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's true. That and it true. just it just seems to worsen every uh, I time. Think, I think for the fact that we, we're on home soil and the Azteca is gonna be ninety eight percent Mexico, it's the twelfth man in our team. It Any every stadium, us. every stadium is gonna be ninety nine percent Mexico, <laughs> except Canada if we play in Canada. We go and win at the Azteca. No way we open up the World Cup and lose. Mm-hmm. That shit is impossible. Exactly. And like, no, yeah, we will not I lose think, that Especially since Mexico never loses the first game no. they play in the World Cup. And it's we, hard to no. predict because we're years away and we don't know how the draw We also, yeah, we also have no idea who we're playing. But, but like, I'm expecting Mexico, and I think everyone should be expecting quarters. Mexico to, to make it out the group. Quarters. quarters. It has to be quarters. quarters. We're at home. I wouldn't say expecting. I'm hoping. I wouldn't say hoping. expecting. Yeah, hoping. Yeah, I'm hoping. Because expecting isn't something I don't do for the Sexual anymore. We have three years to build somewhat a decent team that is to, well. to yeah. produce like a 20 year old that just bangs out of nowhere we always have the strikers spot set if he doesn't get injured hopefully Santi Jimenez we have Edson Alvarez pretty much set he'll probably be in his prime and Charlie Rodriguez is playing right next to him oh my god it's fucking terrible it's like it's things like that that will fuck us over having dead wood players like Charlie Rodriguez and Luis with Romo. all due respect if you're watching yeah. this shout out no Chris. I don't think I respect <laughs> you anymore you don't even speak my language probably so there's no point uh, next one also from Aragon.01. Another hey, you good one. You got a twofer? Yeah, That's one, he on did the two list, good ones. Folks. Top five Mexican youth busts. Top five, I'll give you three right now. Diego Lanez, Joe Dos Santos, Jonathan Dos Santos. That's three. Jonathan? Yes. Jonathan yeah, was Jonathan. a bust because he didn't get the playing time he deserved. And then he was forced to go he play at Real Real with his brother. Yeah. Once you're at Barca, come on. I'm going to go f- fast, like you just said. Diego Lanez, Giovanni Dos Santos, Jonathan Dos Santos, Carlos nah, Vela. Carlos Vela, yeah. <laughs> And is it crazy? I want to say Jimenez just because he got injured. I no, want to say Raul Jimenez. No, no, Jimenez doesn't count. Does he? he was, oh, he young, was young, 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 young. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he did he, say he, young. He, he, did say he, he went to Benfica, scored a couple goals. One Talente didn't. No, no, no. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're, you're right. 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 Got that move to England, and he was. I was just thinking of the hype he had, how much ability he was at the ability he was playing. Injury, bro, it sucks. And the last one because I love them so much, Cubo Torres. I think so. I didn't never really think he was like that hype though. Yeah, I don't. Uh, we don't know because we were hella small. But was, we, yeah, were yeah. we were young. Yeah, we were young. He was like, for Chivas. This is like not a player that like even like no, the old heads cool. throw out like that. I think a yeah. fifth player we have to see. I think maybe. <laughs> what was the question again? Top five Mexican youth busts. Youth. We busts. got the four. Youth. One more. Youth. One more. Yeah. One more. One more young Mexican player that didn't thrive the way he was supposed to. Mm, I don't know. That's a tough one because there there can be a lot of names. Like, it's because when you think of bus, you think of a player that had a lot of potential, had a lot of hype around him, and completely went to shit. Exactly. Gulit Peña. <laughs> hey, he performed it. I mean, he he went to Europe at least. Marco Fabian's back Marco in Europe. Marco Fabian back, back in Europe. Nah, so like, he's in no Europe. I think he's in some other foreign country. I don't know. Let us know who who you're. We need a be. fifth one, yeah. Because yeah. we have to let us know. Yeah, we're pretty dead on it right now. Um, last one from this page because we did two posts from Alexis Della ninety seven. How did y'all meet? How did we meet? Kissing sessions. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> boss. Uh, we met uh, playing <laughs> footy. Um, club footy. football. Yeah, just yeah, playing club footy. football. Easy. Here in Vegas. All makes of us. It makes sense, doesn't it? Simple. All right, let's go to the next post because we did two. Oof. Hopefully. This is more of the hot takes one. So let's hot see what. Take. So right off the bat, hot takes from you guys. Agree or disagree between us, correct? Yeah. I bet. And then we'll elaborate. We'll on elaborate. That. Yeah. <sighs> I want him as Greenwood. I'm definitely not going to bring that one up. Why not? Why not bring it up? He's playing again. It's not like. Greenwood is innocent. Oh. 
Yeah, I thought yeah, so. Yeah, we'll skip that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no comment. Um, This one from Brian Serna. Not really a hot take. Oh my God, the way they fucking said that. Oh my God. I know. Not really a hot take, but I'm so sick of hearing people calling players tap in merchants. Why? Because they're tap in merchants? Bellingham right now? <laughs> they, does, they do their Highland? job. They do their job perfectly. Because they're tap in merchants. And what's the game? It's like and simple, what, simple. The like is, and what's the game what all is. about? The Scoring is, goals. Yeah. The thing is that winning the game. On the eye. All you see in the replay I, the, I can't is, yeah. is um him, a player just it's him doing his foot absolutely out. nothing to exactly. get the ball in the net. But it's his job. It's his job. But what happened prior to that? What scans? What movement did he do prior to getting the tap in? To being in that position. That's so So I could see why he says that. I mean, we we criticize Haaland for scoring thirty tap ins in the Premier League, but but he's also always in the right place at the right time. That's so. due to his skill level. And yeah, whatnot, so. his knowledge makes sense. <laughs> I can, I guess I can agree with You can't with call, it. it's because it's kind of, you is it disrespectful? Be, no. You can't be a professional footballer getting paid so much money because that's what the reality and uh, be just a tapping merchant. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Holland? And Chicha. he's literally going to win a Ballon d'Or because of it. But Chicha also, did it. Chicha's, been doing, Chicharito? Chicha's been doing no, this shit for a while. Because um, look, discipline, what? fitness, Diet, like it's a lot of being a professional footballer who gets paid just to do what happens. It's also like what I said earlier. You're, you're, it's, you're acting like it's an easy job. You have to literally not, know I'm your not. movement. You have yeah, to know I, where to be. I know. I, Hence why Chicharito is so missed in selection because we don't know. have players like that uh, no more. I know. I know. Gotta start crying, looks. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I guess, yeah, I can agree that's a little like, I guess I can see why people don't like it, but I'm never going to stop calling people type of merchants. Yeah, it's, a, it's an <laughs> everything that's going to stop happening. <laughs> Next one from Kevin117. Griezmann is the most underrated slash underappreciated player of this oh. generation. Oh, uh, see, I like this one, but most he's up there. He's definitely up there. I'd have to think. I'd have to think a little bit about who else or how else I could put he's in. He's up there for because sure. Because ever since he started as youngster, his only off season. In my opinion, has been when he joined Bar- Barca, and it wasn't even that bad. And, okay, and it wasn't and even. No, it wasn't that it bad. Wasn't. He had the goals and assists to it. This was, is what Barca fans make you think, bro. He was bro. forced. He was terrible. Oh, he and because he was getting put at left wing, it's not his fault. He exactly. would get put left wing. Exactly. He was terrible. Exactly. He still produced what sixty seven exactly. goals, ten million or something like that. He was like out of position, and he still performed. He didn't perform. He scored. He performed. He didn't score. He didn't underwhelm in his goals. What's getting so ignored? He didn't do no, what he what was you're ignoring for. is that that was Barcelona's darkest time. That's true. That was like the start of their darkest moments. That is true. But I don't want you guys telling me he did good. He didn't do but good at I don't Barca. want you telling. I don't want he you saying that it was a bad either. season. He was, he it wasn't. He, he was bought for over a hundred million. That's he, bad. He has That's seasons at ball. Atleti where he had less goal contributions. Exactly. AKA this. What, what AKA? Um, the season he came back. The season he returned, he didn't do jack shit. That is true. This but he season, was more... This past season, he's... The way he would moment. build up the play, he was like a center forward slash 10. He wasn't even starting. What he wasn't mean? even starting when he joined Atleti back. Back. When his first season oh, returned... because the fans hated him. The ex- club didn't appreciate him as much as he did. Yeah, he was getting booed. Obviously, he, he wasn't going to slot in instantly back in. He just no. came from the rival club. Yeah. And we've seen the I performances still, in 2018 in his prime. I just think as biased. Like I just think, I think if I think if he would have done it in the club with the exact same numbers, he would have been like, oh yeah, he fucking balled. Terrible, dude. Because I I mm. remember specifically how much you guys would shag Griezmann. I never shag Griezmann. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't shag. I always shag. I, I always defended. I defended never his, his term at Barcelona. And there's so many memes. Long sleeve Griezmann with the long sleeve Barca shirt. The two only, out of ten rating confirmed before the game even the started. The only thing I, I would, always uh, remember. I never saw. Never saw. Haircut, never right? seen a Barcelona yeah, Griezmann meme apart from yeah, his haircut nah, where he, he had a fucking nah, burst. Man. You guys are out every day. Nah, logs. But 2016 euros. Best player. Holland Grease. Should, 2018 World Cup. Do you Cup. think Griezmann should have... Griezmann should have a, at least one Ballon d'Or. No. 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 Have a... Po- be on the podium? Yes. He was. For the second best. Place, the best. Place. No, oh. no. Ballon d'Or podium. I think Griezmann at some point deserved the Ballon d'Or podium. Yeah. But not a Ballon d'Or. I just... Uh, no, Ballon no, d'Or. not a Ballon d'Or. Ballon d'Or's cutting pushing. it close. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, pushing. the 2016 Euros performance, the 2018 World Cup. Oh, back to back Champions League you're final forgetting that You're forgetting in those years that there were... Those were they were way better players. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was that was just Ronaldo. the prime years. And then the last World Cup, last season, the season he's doing right now, he absolutely just scored a banging header on Madrid. Yeah, I'm, you know what? Since I really can't think of anybody else on the top of my head, I'm gonna agree that Griezmann yeah. is yeah. Griezmann is probably yeah, our, the yeah, most underrated. Giroud, another French player. I, I'm not putting Giroud. Why not? 
Cause he fucking stinks, dude. I always like watching his old highlights when he's oh, at Monte. Uh, how do you say Monte? Montpellier. Montpellier. Oh, he's so hey. sorry now, though. He's so he's dead. Eight. He's old. He's old. Because like, his play style nah, is not gonna be benefit. Like, not everyone can be like Modric. Yeah, it's because his old. play style, his fitness, and his age has to do a lot with it. Obviously, he's not gonna bang. He's as always much been more. a slow striker, but he just has. I, I guess that was goals. my preference, though. Was, I guess that was yeah, just my preference. Yeah. I never hate. I never liked the. I never liked the lanky nines. Compare Griezmann to Giroud on the. Yeah. Is it is it true? I mean, Giroud's a handsome Giroud fella. didn't start playing till he was like nineteen. That doesn't matter though. Bernardo Silva. Nineteen. Bernardo Silva. One year start, before me, right now. Bernardo Silva didn't start playing what? So he he got dropped like like. No, no, no but he played since he was little. He didn't get like into the scene till he was like twenty or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, so Giroud didn't start Giroud playing till he was nineteen. 19? Then that's kind of. Well, that's what play. I heard. I don't want to be wrong. Hey, well, if that's true, he plays like it because fuck. <laughs> nah, he's, his shots are immaculate, bro. Hey, that was a good take though. That yeah, is. Next one. So they all agree or disagree? All right. I agree. Partially yeah. because I mean you can't. There's really, a couple of. It's players, not really agree or disagree because there's so many options. If we were to disagree, we would have wrote it off right away. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, next one from Joe Garcia. Shout out. Chelsea will finish outside of the top ten this year. I'm saying outside of the top twelve. The way it's looking right now. Chelsea could relegate. It's that nah, bad. Nah, this was this their was only the winning is, is against same, Luton Town. This was the same combo we had last season where they were could have relegated, but like no, no, but this have no. not seen who they're up against in the next. Oh, month man. They're gonna do double oh seven in have, games. I think they they're, have like seven games in a no, row. No, they scored. They scored already. No, no, no. They're doing double oh seven in games as in pure in L's, bro. Oh, oh. They have no. If they don't score in the next game against Brian, they have no uh, nomination for goal today. of the they month. Brian today. They scored. I told Jackson. you, Nicholas Jackson but scored today. Well, I mean the prem and the prem. So. If they don't have a goal in their next Prem game, they're going to have zero goal nominations for the month. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Despite goal. spending a billion. Fuck. And I thought Ten Hag was in the mud. I That's saw kind of um, a clip from Talk Sport where they're saying um, going back 35 games from last season to now, Chelsea finished 17th in the Premier League. Yeah. And it's just crazy to me how like instantly when they sign a player, they immediately like switch off. Moises Caicedo. Top Premier League transfer in history. He looks Fraud. like he plays with Timberlands. Fraud. Moises uh, Caicedo should have never. Moises Caicedo should never have had that. Nicholas price Jackson. Hey, Brian replace him like that. Though. Yeah. Nicholas Jackson yeah, came into the season. I had him as a once to watch player. Also looks like he plays in Timberlands. Mudrick looks like a freaking wannabe rapper. He doesn't even look a like he's a footballer no more. What are you trying to say? Million. That these players play in Timberlands. What are you trying to say? They just look wonky. Why, you like say, Lukaku, why, why do they touch. all play in Timberlands? The what are you touch. trying to say? What are you trying to say? Their touch. Caicedo's touch is. Terrible, terrible. He's been, it's been though. Like man, it's been though. But nah, since you guys, Brian but since you guys didn't see him in a fuck, you guys saw him in a low key club jersey. Everybody got fucking hyped up. Bro, his touch was good. Why do you think he was so Caicedo was Caicedo was, Caicedo was nothing but hype. Why do you think he was so Caicedo expensive? was nothing but hype. Even like Havertz, Liverpool, he went to Chelsea. Uh, Thirty mil. Klopp wanted a Caicedo. Klopp wanted Bellingham too. But no, like, yeah, but even they they couldn't. That's the thing. They no, couldn't for Havertz. Caicedo. He didn't deny it. Klopp him. wanted Enzo Fernandez. They didn't get him either. Klopp wants everybody. That's awful. Havertz went to Chelsea. Absolutely decreased. Who else was gone to Chelsea? And decreased? Havertz plays in terms. Lukaku. Uh, Havertz low key plays in terms. Today, <laughs> Havertz today. Yes. High key today. plays. Dude, in they, ter- <laughs> they turn players into Timberland <laughs> cleats. I'm um, dead ass. Havertz, <laughs> Lukaku, Moises Casero, Mudrik. Biggest, biggest uh, fraud or biggest the uh, flaw they have in that squad is Pochettino. This guy was never. No. This guy, Pochettino's. You do not tell me Pochettino's world class manager. No, he's Chelsea, not. But they've had Tuchel. Chelsea, they've had all Chelsea these, is uh, not a Chelsea's a man. They had Tuchel and they were thriving. They were, yeah, that they was were their doing, biggest mistake. They were fine. They Chelsea's were fine. Biggest mistake Tuchel was, was getting fine. rid of Tuchel. I agree. They just didn't know I agree. it was going to get worse. I agree completely. I agree completely because what was it? Three games? He lost three, four games they or something like that. They and they bent him immediately. They did not even yeah. hesitate because they, they saw the mm-hmm. hype. These Brian men get hyped. Yes. I'm also salty because yeah. they fucking clap us every time. But still. Four I, wins in a row. Yeah, by they, they, they fucking United. dog walk us. Going, they went from uh, Grand Potter. Tucho to spending big money to grabbing all of Brian's staff with Grand Potter. That didn't work out. Terrible footy. Paid him a fat bag to get him out. Who came after them? It was that one uh, interim coach interim. and then Lampard. And then Lampard. Lampard. Oh, my <laughs> Lampard, God, bro. They, they actually let him run it back. Holy shit. And then now Pochettino's going to get sacked and then Lampard's going to come again. And then Chelsea are going to finish like 15th. Who would have thought that Frank Lampard would be an interim manager for the boy? To me, club? like, even we're saying how good is... Um, and Kunku is even if Nkunku was there, I'm so convinced he would have been bad. I, I every really Chelsea think he's not gonna come back. I don't shit. think Nkunku comes back the same. Nah, that was a that was a good question though. Uh, Joe Garcia, 
<laughs> Emmanuel, Chelsea are still overall a better team than Man U. Both fully healthy. No. No. Waffle. <sighs> yeah, Man U have a missing player. It's just the Man U slant is crazy. Man U creates Please. chances. They just can't finish. Oh, Hoyland's going to fucking bag this season. Oh, man. my God. This is a very good one. From five, Joshua. Is it possible that Madrid wins 20 UCLs before anyone wins 10? Who's uh, up right now? I think the Milan? most have seven. Milan? Bayern, no? seven? Bayern, I think, has six. six. Is Milan? Is he Milan? Mars no? has five. Or five or six. I swear it's AC Milan was seven. Seven. Something. And the Madrid has 14. Yeah, and AC Milan are not winning three UCLs. What about Barca? Barca are not winning four UCLs. Not winning four UCLs before Madrid wins. They can't even afford their two best players. Six. Their two best players Damn, are on loan and they're coming back. That is not even crazy. That it's really crazy. not. Nah, that it's not. Crazy. That isn't crazy. It's not crazy. It just sounds crazy, but like when you really break it down, it kind of makes the most sense. That like who, who else is really going to stop Madrid from reaching twenty? Or Bayern, who's going to get to ten before Madrid gets to twenty? Because Madrid only have six left. Barso need five more. Bayern need four. They more. pretty much need the same amount. Like AC Milan needs three more, but they're definitely not going to win. Not one. happening. They're probably winning one max. Yeah, that's not even happening. <laughs> that's also <awesome>, not happening. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally wearing a fucking. Rafael, hey, hey, Rafael, hey, Rafael Inter, Inter Milan fan, by the way. Hey, you guys don't know what's behind this jersey. Should I show him real quick? No. Yeah, that's what we I showed him. We showed him enough. Yeah. I should just tell you guys. Just kidding. Jesus. Um, next one, also from Five Joshua. Bellingham will have a better career at Real Madrid than Pedri and Gabi will have at Barca. Debatable. Gabi, yeah. Pedri. Nah, I think Pedri. Trophies have a lot to do with it. Yeah, because when we talk career, we are talking about goals accolades, have a lot to do with it, goals. even though he's not. Gabi's a... starting right now and playing right now because Pedri's out. And so is Frankie de Jong. Well, Pedri, no, man. Pedri's generation. You still put Pedri choices. over Bellingham? <sighs> not I over, but I mean, in par with him, for sure. I think once Madrid have an actual striker who can score them goals and they don't have to rely on a midfielder to score them goals. But that helps Bellingham him a lot, is, too. Yeah, that does, help him, that does help him a lot. Pedri isn't a known goal scorer. He's a known, literally known Chou, midfielder. Chou bro. Bellingham is no, like, Chou Bellingham was going to score from the goal. midfield. He was doing it at Dortmund. Yeah. Yeah, but... It, Bellingham has always had that more advanced role, like crashing into the box. So you're saying is, anywhere. So you're saying is Pedri is a pussy? He doesn't want to press up. Nope. Barca don't play that system where they have the midfield. Kind of looks like the edge looks like that picture. Barca's <laughs> midfield isn't to crash into the box. We've that's been dead football. So, so you're saying all this? How do you think Pedri's gonna have a better career than Bellingham at uh, their club? Because Jude Bellingham, in my opinion, I think won't be scoring all these goals like how he is now. Yeah. Once Madrid have a. But when he was at Dortmund, he scored a lot of goals too. And he wasn't what he's doing right That's now. Who was, score, who was scoring for goals for, for Dorman? But Bellingham. they still had players on top of him. But strikers. Who, who though? But you know what I'm who? saying? They had actual strikers, wingers. Madrid don't even have winger depth right now. That's Vinny, why he's scoring. Back. Yes, but even Vinny's when Vinny back. was there, Bellingham was scored in the first four games straight. I, I would have wanted to see how Benz and Bellingham played out together. Nah. What could have been? Benz sucks. Uh, his finger is broken. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's Bellingham. Bellingham. Because even at Dortmund, I still put Bellingham over Pedri. Yeah, I've been doing that for a while now, too. So I'm going to have to keep it like that. If you were to give me Pedri and Bellingham on the same team and a DM, like Declan Rice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That team runs over <laughs> Declan. Declan, Declan Rice. Declan Rice. Bro. Declan Rice. It's just, it's just a CDM example. He's a, bro, use Roger. Yeah, he's a the good one. Fuck? Declan Rice good. is class. But he's not. But he's clearly, not what a fucking, signing he's But been. you said like a DM like Roger. You said a DM like Declan yeah. Rice like as if he's phenomenal. Like if that he's, wins the ball like back that is good going like forward as if too he's as a comparable DM. Good to at long shots, good at passing, doesn't you, make mistakes. Nah, Bellingham, waffling, man. Bellingham. Literally, he literally said, man said, man said Bellingham and Pedri. And then another youngster. a DM like Declan Rice. Like Dick and Rice. Who's Bellingham's partner? Who's the, who's Bellingham's partner in the national team? Uh, right. In the World Declan Cup Rice. too. It's Declan Jordan Rice. So Henderson piss looks. off, mate. Yeah, but Rodri's yeah. What the fuck clear. do they do? Rodri's, and what do they do? Still Rodri. What do they do? Still, what do they do? Declan get packed Rice. up. And get get clamped up Rodri by Yunus Musa. Why would I say Rodri him by himself? It doesn't need anyone. He could freaking he could put both of right now at fifty years old. <laughs> Declan, I mean Rodri will still be doing good. Musa, That's how good Rodri is. Musa runs miles. Musa runs miles around Bellingham. Yusuf Musa. 
Yunus Musa? Yeah. Same way he did in the World Fuck. Cup. Same way he did in the World Cup. Loftus Fuck. cheek is playing over his ass. Fuck, Loftus cheek. He's mid. Loftus butt cheek is playing. He's playing bro, well, though. He's playing after he well. said that, he just lost all he's credibility well. for that take he just said. <laughs> if you guys didn't watch England USA, just say that. Pedri is just natural elegance on the ball, bro. It's beautiful. No one can do what he's doing on the ball. He's, he's just Bellingham. beautiful. Drew Bellingham is a workhorse power. Musiala does it better on the Physicality. ball. Physicality. He has it all. And touch. Every, touch. Yeah, yeah, Bellingham does have goals. everything. There's nothing yeah, Bellingham doesn't like have. Him. What doesn't he have? Uh, he has to have like a tiny penis or something. There's, there's something I'm wrong with this sure. guy. There's something wrong with this guy. Because he has no flaws right now. He has no flaws right now. So what is it? Has to be like packing two inches or something. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know your thoughts on that tape. Is he packing? Bro, he's on the... <laughs> How old is he? 19, 20? Who keeps? Bellingham. I'm 21. They're like the same age, I think. <laughs> No, Bellingham's younger than that. It's definitely going on LFS 20. clips. Yeah, What's I'm with that. that. <laughs> what is that? It's fucking ghost town. Um, thanks for that. Two, the last two were pretty dead. Thanks for that just question. Give, just give what you have. I did. The you last two were pretty dead. Kevin Alvarez isn't that good? He. <laughs> Defo. <laughs> <laughs> Defo Chivas, yeah. man. He's a <laughs> fucking moron. Uh, he's, he's class. Nah, not class, my bad. Let me take that. But he's pretty good. He's pretty All good. All right, we'll get into that then. The last one. Jorge Sanchez, Julian Araujo, or Kevin Alvarez? Mm. Starburn Cell? All right. Starburn Cell? All right, redo, redo it, redo it. I don't even want to sell Araujo because he doesn't even go for anything. Ready, he ready, fucking ready? sucks. Ready. Starburn Cell, Julian Araujo, Kevin Alvarez, or Jorge Sanchez? To me, this is easy. Easy. Jorge Sanchez, bench. Uh, actually, have we used, have we has he even played this season? Yeah, he came off the big. He started. He got two UCL debuts. That alcohol hasn't even had one. And I still have the same order since last month. Start Kevin, undoubtedly. Yes, I I agree. You bench Jorge Sanchez and you sell Julian Araujo for probably like what like chips or something. I don't know. He doesn't get you anything. He sucks. Pink hair fraud. TikTok merchant. Terrible. Why? What has he done? She saw one picture with him next to Vinny and that's it? Literally, he saw the whole game today. How did he perform today? He literally had a goal line clearance too. It was okay. Fuck, give him the ball and door. It was okay. It was like inside the six. But he just did nothing. (laughs) Yeah, regular. Hell yeah. It's because he didn't have the space to just ready. (laughs) Start, Kevin Alvarez, despite him only being the Liga Mekis player. But I feel like once he transfers to a team abroad, he'll freaking bang. That's nuts. How does he ball out against the two European guys? Class up and down. Oh, fuck. Important to America. Bench, Julian Araujo, no doubt. Definitely has a place in that Barca squad next season. Definitely having a... He has no. every... No, no, no. No. Definitely Recently for crazy. Las Palmas, he's one, I think he has the most match rating for Las Palmas. Because it's Las Palmas. This display today against Madrid versus Vinicius. When he got subbed on, even before he got subbed on, was class. Finishes his Jorge Sanchez is not good enough on the ball going forward, and he always gets mixed defending. Neither if you look at Cabarasquelia's highlights last season, eight minutes of the 10 minute video is against Jorge Sanchez. Jorge Sanchez is not a good footballer, and I've said it for the longest time. And Araujo's what? Fucking Araujo's Omar. miles clear. Araujo's good on the ball. He keeps possession. He's good at overlapping. His crosses might be iffy here and there. Where have you He's seen, way better at defending. Where have you seen any of that? Bro, I today think- you have. You, you guys are going off the two games he's played. You at, go off one game. You no, go off one game he played no, against Madrid. No, 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 no. no. You guys go off of Hold two off. bad games he had for Mexico. That's literally all you guys' is facts. Because those are his only games. That's, but that's what I only care about. I don't care how he's performing at Las Palmas. I'm not, I don't support Las Palmas. I support... So for that reason, you think Santi shit? Because he doesn't do nothing for Mexico, but no, for Feyenoord. He even performs better than... Nah, nah, you got fucked there. Nah. He performs better than Jimenez. Nah. No, he doesn't. He performs better than Jimenez. No, he doesn't. He just gets most playing time and he gets into like positions and Jimenez... And he made his fucking bags. That's that cool. explanation was that for that reason you don't raise Santi because he doesn't do nothing for Mexico, but he does it for Feyenoord. <laughs> Bro, that's so dumb. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? What's so funny? <laughs> what? I don't know what he's laughing at. <laughs> yes, he does. He knows exactly Wait, what he's crying. crying. That's fucking hilarious. But I didn't expect him to say that. What would he say? So that <laughs> I'm gonna start with Kevin Alvarez. I'm gonna start him. I think he's the best one out of the three going forward. I think he will actually put a good cross into um, one of the best strikers in the world right now, Santi Jimenez. Jorge Sanchez, we've seen him many times where he can't attack whatsoever. Yes, he can defend. Got cheeky nutmegs. And then I think este Julian Araujo, I just need to see more of him, especially in the, with the Mexico shirt on. So um, for that reason, I'm going to sell him. 
I think in the circumstance of the three right backs that I was given, is Kevin Alvarez, Jorge Sanchez, Julian Araujo. I don't see either of them. I don't see either of them better than the other. And for that way, it's really preference at that point. I don't really think Araujo has proven anything yet. I don't. I've, yeah. No, I don't none like, of these guys like, have proven I don't, anything. I don't like Jorge Sanchez. I think Kevin has proven I don't lot. like him at all. But just for the fact. Kevin's the only one with titles in, out of the three. Yeah. Kevin's the only one with a title out of yeah, the three. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Back to back with, with uh, Pachuca. Yeah, crickets. Jorge Sanchez didn't win in America? He wasn't no. there that season with against uh, Pumas? Mm, no. Wait, he what? was. Yeah, he With was. That short comb over. He, yeah, was. he was. But that Before wasn't fucking. That was Edson. Fucking prime Edson, isn't it? Yeah, that was Jorge Sanchez there. But I, I yeah, still rate enough. Kevin so then, Alvarez here, and then the rest of them down here. So then Julian Araujo, the only one without titles. So then there you go. That's my. That's my turn. All right. We'll see next season. What well, when, when, like he, when he wins the what Las Palmas Defender of the Year award, give a I'll fuck about it. that. More than Jorge Sanchez ever achieved in his life. Campeon. Just yeah. You didn't even know that two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for guy was there, Lux. Uh, Sick America. <laughs> but that was for all the hot takes. Thank you for all the uh, Thank you, and Ace. All the all the questions you guys got, yes. all the hot takes. Stay tuned for the other video. Always stay tuned on our Instagram for posts like that to get mentioned in the video. Also, we're almost at a uh, five thousand followers on Instagram. Yeah, yeah we appreciate and you. Stay guys tuned. A lot. We got a another jer- jersey giveaway. I think it's the America Blue Kit. So stay tuned for that. We'll probably be released yeah. when the video is make, out. Yeah, make sure you guys go follow our TikTok, our Instagram, help us get to five K and uh, you know. Most importantly, subscribe, yeah. like, comment. Kids at FPT Sports, use code Let's Footy. You guys want to say why Seb got bent? Seb got bent? Oh, he did. No, because our contracts are currently under review right now. So we're going to keep our mouth shut for the yeah, time being. <laughs> See you next time. I played the fifth.